today's lesson and we are going to talk about nouns we are still on nouns revising on nouns and today i want us to look to talk about collective nouns i remember we started with these nouns we talked about the common nouns we talked about the proper nouns and now yet there last week we talked about and gave you something about abstract noun and i said abstract noun are things that cannot be seen or touched it's just a general feeling or an idea that is what i said abstract nouns are and i said you can talk about anger those are abstract you can talk about happiness those are abstract nouns faithfulness those are abstract nouns humility that is abstract noun things that cannot be seen or touched but you just have the uh, feeling of them or an idea of that thing that is, those are known as abstract nouns those are known as abstract nouns and i say common nouns are things object or things uh, but is not the name of that particular thing is not the name of that particular thing example a common noun i said like example school school is a common noun but when it's uh, a co it's just a common noun it's any school that is uh, we have different types of schools when you say saint claret that becomes a proper noun but when you say just a school that is a common noun it's just a name it's just a name of something that is common uh, we have a cup eh? we have a cup we have different types of cup but when you say a cup we are just meaning a common that is a common noun but when you come to a uh, proper noun when you say maybe a glass a cup made of a glass or that is a common noun we are now differentiating these types of cups so like i say maybe there is a when you say a book i say i need an english book i need an english book becomes a proper noun but when i say i need a book there are different types of books so that one is a common noun so today we are going to talk about collective nouns we are going to talk about collective nouns so what is collective noun what is a collective noun this refers to names this refers refers to this refers to a group of people a group of people can refer to a group of people they refer to group of things they refer to group of things can be a group of people animals a group of people animals or things or things Collective noun refers to a group of things, can be referred to the, a group of things, a group of people, a group of animals. Many animals, uh, when many animals, when they are together, example, those sheep, someone is herding a lot of sheep there, that one, a lot of sheep there, they are, uh, have a collective name, they have a collective name. When you go to cows, many cows, when they are all together, they also have a collective name. When they are all together uh, in one place, they are also have a group. When you have people, people standing maybe at a place, very many people, they have a common name, that one is that is a collective name not only one but a group maybe a group of people standing in a place they have we also have things when there are a lot of things somewhere they also have a, their name when they are together so like example here i say a collective noun refers to a group of people animals or things a group of people animals or things together when they are together so Example here, we have a gun, we have example, example, we have a gun of thieves, a gun of thieves, a gun of thieves, very many things together, very many things together are known as a gun. We have herd of cattle, herd of cattle. Very many cartoons together are known as herd, a herd of cartoons. Then we have a fleet of slips, 
a, a fleet of sheep fleet of sheep this is not sheep of uh, this is the sheep the one that is used for transportation water that is the one that I'm talking about we have a shoot of fish or fish this is just an example of collective nouns. Very many sheep, uh, very many fish together, they are known as a shoot. A shoot of teeth. Then we have, when you go to a library, you get a lot of books. That is known as a library of books. Library of books. When you go to, usually go to library to have books, to read books. When you go there, the collective books there, the, those all those books, when you are going there, they are known as a library of books. Then we have another word, I'm just giving you examples of collective nouns, examples of these collective nouns. We also have a choir, singers, choir, to go to church, choir of singers, singers, people singing, very many, we have, even we have, in the school we have a choir. Uh, we have a choir. Those that are singing, they are called choir of singers. Very many people together. We have another set of tools. Set of tools. Set of tools. Those people who work maybe in uh, mechanics, they have a toolbox. They have a toolbox. So that one is a set of tools. Different types of tools. They are set of tools. We also have school of words. School of words, school of words, these are mammals living in water, that is schools of words. Uh, we also have, there are very many, there are very many, this is a very long list of a group of collective words, uh, collective nouns. We also have other example, other example, a bunch of, a bunch of grapes. A bunch of grapes, a bunch of grapes. These are very many uh, grapes, the fruits, those fruits. We have a broad of chicks, broad of chicks. We have broad of chicks. We also have a swarm of bees. This is the common one, swarm of bees, swarm of bees. Very many bees. I saw a swarm of bees. I saw a swarm of bees. Very many bees. We also have a. We also have another a pack of wolves. A pack of wolves. A pack of wolves. These are also collective nouns. When you see a lot of wolves somewhere, you will say a pack of wolves. Uh, we usually attend to go to wedding. Attend to usually go to wedding. Then we saw we see a lot of geckos in that wedding. Maybe the bride the bride has come with a very long uh, full of vehicles. Vehicles following one another. Then that one is can say a convoy of vehicles. Convoy or vehicles, convoy of vehicles. So, these are just but a few examples of collective nouns. There are very many collective nouns. We have a bed of cotton, a bed of cotton, a bed is something like this. A bed of cotton. Those are just few but example, few examples of collective nouns. I say collective nouns because this is a group of things. Group of things are brought together. Group of things like a class of pupils. When you are all in a class, sitting in a class, it's known as a class of pupils because we are very many in that class. When you go to the uh, teachers there, we usually say a staff of teachers. Staff of teachers because there are very many teachers in that staff room, a staff of teachers, a group of people being together, crowd, people are known as a crowd of people, I said very crowd of people, I said here, gang of thieves, herd of cattle, lead of sheep, and this sheep is the sheep of uh, transportation, that one water, that one is called water, we have choir, that is all about the collective, 
noun. This is all about the collective noun. Now I want you to go through. I want you to go through the spotlight. Spotlight. I want you to go through collective nouns in spotlight. Write the all the collective noun in spotlight. We have spotlight page 120. Spotlight page. 120, go through the spotlight, collective nouns of spotlight, page 120. Go through the spotlight on page 120. Then, do the exercise, do the exercise number 1 to 12. Do the exercise, practice exercise, practice exercise, that is exercise. Exercise, the first exercise, exercise A, from number 1 to 12. From number 1 to 12. But there's also another, from number 13 to number 13 to 25, you can also do that work during your free time. Find more collective nouns. I've only given examples of this collective noun, but I want you to find uh, out more collective nouns from the dictionary. You can have the dictionaries at home. Find more collective noun. Add to the list that is there in the book there, in the spotlight. You can add more on that collective noun. But my exercise for today is page 120 from number 1 to 12. But I want you to write the at the back of your book. Can you write those uh, collective nouns there in spotlight? Then add more collective nouns to that, to those that you have given. I said there are very many collective nouns that are not there in the book, but you can find them in your exam. So do the exercise, and if you don't have the book, if you don't have the textbook, I'll be giving the assignment. So have a nice day, revise more, don't just sit at home. We are just, you know, the school will open maybe in January, but have put more practice at home so that you do not forget what you have been taught by the teachers. So stay at home, be safe.